Vincent painted this sea view in 1888, May 88. When he was living in um, Paris before that, he was really into Japanese art and especially the light, the sunlight in the Japanese art and in the French literature, the Provence, the south of France and the Mediterranean Sea, they were associated with sunlight and sunshine and that is what he was after, one of his main reasons to go to the south of France. But he only saw the Mediterranean Sea once for a few days in uh, in May and there he painted um, the village and he painted this sea view and Vincent loved the colors of the sea of course he saw the sea when he was living in Holland but in um, and, and he made a sea view painting there as well of the North Sea but the North Sea unfortunately is not as colorful as the Mediterranean Sea and he loved the Mediterranean Sea because of its changing colors first he, he, he wrote in a, in a letter to his brother that first it was blue then purple then pink again and then gray and different kinds of green so the colors were changing constantly and that is what he tried to show in his painting the changing colors of the water and in the, in the water on the painting, you can see different different types of blue. There's many different blues, different types of blue in, um, in the painting. There's black, there's gray, and different greens. Probably there used to be more purple in there as well, but on many of his paintings, the purple faded into blue throughout the years. And he, he, here he wanted to practice in a more loosely and more swiftly style, more spontaneous with broad and quick brush strokes. This free manner emphasizes the liveliness of the sea, the reflections of the sunlight and the moving of the water. It makes that it looks like the water is moving and you can hear the water and you can hear the wind and you can almost smell the sea. It is painted wild and windy. Before before this, when he was in Paris, he tried to do this as well, but in, in a style called Pointeism. And he made some brilliant pieces in Pointeism, but that was not his style, that was not his cup of tea. He, he did not have the patience for all these little dots carefully placed. And he wanted, he wanted more to be a wild painter, much faster. And the little dots became broad and rough brush strokes. And by moving from Paris to Arles, to the south of France, he really said goodbye to all his old styles that he tried and learned. And, and he really succeeded in merging all those different styles and influences in his own new style. His signature here, bottom left, that is quite remarkable. He, he did that on purpose. He wrote to his brother that his next painting that he was going to send to him had a quite jumped up signature. He wanted a strong red contrast in the painting. The red signature enforces the green in the water. This has to do with simultaneous contrast and I will tell you more about the color wheel in another video but uh, that theory that opposite colors do enforce each other that is a theory that Vincent applied from his earliest paintings until his last ones so he really thought about his signature here it had to be big and it had to be red and and he also thought about the position your your eye will go from the red signature to the red in the first boat and ten to the red in the other boat and there is that diagonal again that gives depth to the entire painting and that is what he knew from Japanese art but he also knew this from Dutch painters like Ruisdael you, so you can do that with clouds but you can also do that with boats now if you would take a very close look at the painting you can see some very interesting things 
at certain spots it looks like he used his finger as a brush you see that here and here it looks like he used a palette knife just to spread out the paint to make the layer that the the paint layer thinner at certain spots so that the water looks more transparent different places and it gets more lively and with a microscope you could even see sand grains in his paint he painted this at the beach in the open air so there was a lot of wind and the wind even blew sand in his in his paint and you can even see at some places that the sand that the wind and the sand damaged the paint layer some parts there is so much sand in the paint that could be that he dropped his brush accidentally and he just went on painting the Van Gogh Museum did a great research on that and many of his paintings you can find sand grains or little leaves uh, little bugs and a few years ago here you can see that they even found a grasshopper in one of his paintings Vincent didn't care about that he just saw that as part of the deal this is what happens if you paint outside and it even makes the painting more realistic more natural well I hope you enjoyed this video and you like the painting as, as much as I do hope to see you with one of my other videos bye